Hello and welcome to a new video about control engineering. This time we want to analyze our system. Yeah? This time we want to get a little to know a little bit more about our system. How is it? Yeah? Is it controllable? Yeah? Can we do something about this? How do we do this? Yeah? Well, here this is the control loop. Yeah? And we want to analyze the system. What we are going to do is to make a, a value jump here. We are not, the, the controller is not in action right now. The only thing we do is we have a certain value of the correcting variable. Then we let the correcting variable jump. So we make a correcting variable jump and see how the controlled variable is reacting. Actually, this is just a test of the system. Okay. So we are performing a correcting variable jump. We talked about this uh, in measurement. We talked about this. We said, hey, what's up? Uh, if we want to know how a measurement system is reacting, we do a test function. Well, and step was one test function, and this is actually, you know, is ex exactly what we are doing now. So how does this might look? Yeah, here, this is the time. Yeah, t, and we have a certain, we have a certain. Uh, correcting variable y. This has a certain value, yeah? and at some point in time, we let this jump to another value. Okay, this is how this looks like. So here, at this point in time, we are changing the correcting variable and only the correcting variable. I will use the thicker pen. And now we are looking at the controlled variable. The controlled variable at the beginning has only also a certain value. So here is, the cert here is one value base value of the controlled variable yeah? and it will change because the correcting variable is growing so also the, the controlled variable is growing it will change to another value yeah? so this is the end value and in between we will have some transition so at the beginning we will stay constant because the correcting variable is constant and then we start to change then usually if it's a stable system it will go up yeah, and then slow down again and be somewhere stable yeah. so this actually is what we could expect yeah so this is x from t What we are going to look now is the inflection point. So the point where the steepness changes here. Yeah? And we use a tangent in the inflection point. Yeah? Flection tangent. Yeah? And we can now measure some times. Yeah? There is one time here. It's called TU. Yeah. This is a delay time. Okay. It's the delay time. Verzugszeit in German. Delay time. And here. This is called TG. Rise time. Yeah. Anstiegszeit in German. Verzögerungszeit, Verzugszeit und Anstiegszeit, Delay Time and, and Rise Time. What does those times tell us? Yeah. 
Well, they tell us a little bit on how tricky this system is to be controlled. Okay. That's it. Yeah, this is what I can read out of this. Yeah. Because I'm actually I'm looking at the ratio between dg yeah, and tu. So how much bigger is dg than tu? Yeah, this is what I'm I'm looking at. Yeah. Well, if dg if 10, if this is bigger than 10, okay, this means it's easy controllable. So if this is 10 times longer than this or more, 10 times or more, this is easy controllable, okay? Easy controllable. If our ratio dg compared to du yeah, is bigger than 3, yeah, but smaller than 10, of course, yeah, this we call usually controllable. If dg compared to du is smaller than 3, yeah, you know, if this is only is only smaller than 3 times longer than this, yeah, this is called hardly controllable. Schwer yeah? regelbar. In this example I've drawn here, what does it mean? Here, here, one, two, three. Ooh, we are pretty close, I guess, to the to the thing where it only is hardly controllable. But you notice something? It's not written not controllable. There is nothing like not controllable. Yeah, the more difficult it gets the more sophisticated the controller needs to be. But, you know, it's not not controllable. It's, it's difficult to control it, okay. Yeah? But it's not not controllable. Yeah? So this is the things we can read out of the correcting variable jump. Yeah? And we also get an idea of the system, what transfer function the system might B, yeah? what, what typical transfer function? This here looks a little bit like uh, a PT, PT2 element. Yeah? This inflection point and so on. Well, yeah, correcting variable jump. Next time we're going to analyze the whole control loop. Yeah? Because we are not doing a correcting variable jump, we're doing a reference variable jump. Next time we're also discussing about what we can read out of this. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.